Hey, what's going on guys? Okay, so I have an hour and uh, I know I was just streaming on Twitch and I'm streaming here. Listen, this is this is this is just me screwing around, right? I I know what this is. Um you know, it's going to be it's going to be different after the move. I'm going to be doing a lot more streaming, so I'm trying to get as familiar with all the platforms as I can. Uh let's see. Am I live? Yes. Yes, I am live. All right, cool. Cool. Yeah, we're playing playing some Tarkov, right? Um, okay, you can see I had a relatively successful raid um, from the uh, had a relatively successful raid while streaming on Twitch just a few minutes ago. Uh, again, just sort of experimenting with different different setups and stuff. Um, so yeah, let's. Uh, Item incompatible. Oh, the incompatibility your item. It literally was just like you can put this on your AK-104. But where? No. Oh, okay. There we go. Cool. Hey, Dust the Wolf, thank you. Hello, not so fancy pants. Tarkovin it up. Uh, do I have a. kind of wanna, you know, sight? Well, I don't really need it. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, so if I have a lower. lower barrel rail grip, this will be really useful. Rest of this seems sellable. Um, Jacob, I will have a stream schedule in the very near future, but at present it is just sort of impromptu. Um, the reason being is that you know, with with us or with us moving, right? My schedule is totally screwed up. Um, but in the future, we will. You know, I'll have a set schedule, right? You guys will know. Um, and it'll be a lot less, like, a lot fewer unknowns. You know? Which will be nice. Oh, yeah, right. It's just my face. And in slow motion. Very cool. Yeah, this is the other reason I'm doing a lot of this um, the streaming is so I can get good at streaming, right? My day has been good, man. I've done actually a lot of just like streaming and playing games today, uh, which has been cool, but it's definitely like a different, uh, different for me. Yeah, good, good catch, Jacob. Okay. Let me sort some rubles. All right. All right, some of this is just stuff that's gonna get sold, right? I don't know what the deal is with this mask. Does it protect you at all? Uh, armor class, zero. You're not just cool, you're dangerous. Hey, Tyron Draken. Do I like Brother Alpha Boost's work? We did an animation called Hunter the Parenting. Pretty good. Um, yeah, I, I thought, so I watched the first like six episodes of If the Emperor Had a Text to Speech Device. I thought it was pretty funny, but it wasn't like, you know, it, it, I don't know enough about Warhammer Lore to like really go deep into it. Um, but yeah, I know he got like pretty, he got shut down by Games Workshop, or no, he stopped doing If the Emperor Had a Text-to-Speech Device, like, while Games Workshop was on their big crackdown, and out of, out of to avoid getting sued, he stopped voluntarily. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Jamie Fairfax. J Jamie Fairfax? Hi, May. Oh yeah, the PSO I cup. We're gonna get rid of this. All right, I'm just sorting out the things I'm gonna sell. 
feel like I should just sell this explosive. I mean, it looks cool, but... Okay, this I'm holding on to because this thing will be valuable to me. Ghost Recon Wildlands? I loved Ghost Recon Wildlands, actually. Um, I haven't played Breakpoint, but my brother and I got really into Ghost Recon uh, Wildlands, and we had so much fun. Um, it stinks. He said, he's like, I'm, it doesn't stink. He's like, hey, I don't want to stream. I have another career. Um, but we have so much fun playing the two of us, right? Just on like a, a Discord call or voice chat. Um, it's, it, it's a hoop. It really is. And it's cool because he's an Iraq vet. I'm an Afghanistan vet, right? Like, like I think it would be... Um, I think it would be cool to, to do more like content with him, but... You know, I'm just, I just, honestly, he has a kid, um, so I'm just happy I can do anything with him, you know. Uh, have I been streaming all day? Basically, um, yeah, I kind of unexpectedly, like, was not, uh, work has been really slow because of the holidays, and with my apartment entirely packed up, all the things that I usually, that usually, like, take up a lot of my time just aren't so you know it's like uh it's been nice it's been nice i'm like is this what free time is like i don't know what to make of it oh yeah I have this whole front sight no rear sight. okay gotcha all right we'll keep our eyes peeled joey thanks yeah I appreciate you. I appreciate you making a stream, man. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's get into it. So if you haven't been on one of my streams before, actually, so let's yeah we'll take we'll take this hunting shotgun out. This is looking good, uh, and we'll scav it up. Let's scav it up on woods. I know it may seem like nonsense, but I'm trying to get better at learning woods, like the setup. Um, okay, so if you haven't been on one of my streams, right? If you're an evening guy. Um, I have the tarot decks because only only the esoteric tarot can know how a raid is going to go. So if you want to shoot me a super chat, we will draw a card for you. So let's look at our card for this raid. This is going to be the Six of Swords. And as you can see, it is someone with a boat full of swords, but those swords are stabbed into the hole. And he and his family are trying to escape, trying to get away. So I think the moral of the story is I need to get my stuff and then get out because it could be a close one, right? And, and we'll draw a card for Tyron, who generously enough super chatted me five bucks. Oh, a Tyron gets a good one. The Ace of Swords, brah. This is, this is peak. This is divine wrath, my friend. Um, divine strength right so it's telling you that the universe has your back and if you're thinking about taking action on something if you're like i'm not sure if it's time i'm not sure if i need to charge forth into this um that card says man the universe has your back alex i remember that yeah i remember the, the card what was it it was um oh it was the the um the uh like poor beggars right out in the snow did it did it come to fruition right did you did you actually have some some feeling of like uh i don't know either poverty or you saw someone in poverty uh jamie i've only been doing tarot like a less than a year maybe eight nine months um i just do it for fun this these cards don't have any magic power they're fun art um, accompanied on cards. But what's really cool is that it lets you sort of examine your like feelings, your subconscious. Oh, thanks, Jacob. Yeah, yeah, we got a card for you here. Ooh, ooh, the Page of Swords. Okay, this represents like youthful energy, but also a little naivete, right? So you can see he's sort of looking out to an unknown future and he's gonna charge into it so i think the lesson there for you is that you too should consider that you have the tools you need to succeed but 
you also should be aware that you might be looking at the situation with a little bit of naivete and it wouldn't hurt you to, unlike the page, charge forth recklessly, but to think things through just a little bit, right? Try to be a little, little more like the knight, right? Okay, let's find ourselves our map of woods. Oh, this is, this is too much. All right, Tarkov woods map. I actually don't have a lot of time, so I need to, you know, get get my hustle on here in a minute. Okay. There we go. All right. Mission new tab. There we go. Oh, and let's just pop out the chat. Oh, Tyron, thank you. The Emperor's blessings be upon me. Yes, yes. I hope the Emperor does bless me on this raid. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Alex. Well, I hope... Yeah, there, are, there is a lot of swords today. Um, well, I think it's reminding you that, you know... You can't be naive, you know? And it sounds like you're aware, right? If you're aware of the burdens you carry, that's the first step to solving them, right? A lot of people go through life and, and they like put these burdens on themselves and uh, they don't even realize it, right? They they take out their like anger and anxiety on their friends and family, not realizing that it's really these other burdens. Uh, Reno Man, yep, they are tarot cards. Um, I I don't think they they have any mystical powers, but I really enjoy them. Um, I really enjoy like just sort of using them as like a way to like prompt yourself to think about things. Um, yeah, I find it really fun in that sense. Oh shit. Okay. Is this a, is this a player? 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 Yeah, right, no way. I would definitely not be showing uh, tarot cards in the military. I mean, the military has some hokey stuff, don't get it twisted, but that's hokey even by my standards. All right, so there's the scab house. Why is he yelling? Um, I have a separate deck, actually, that were given to me. Um, my... Ooh, eerie. Oh, I thought that was an owl. Um, my brother-in-law's girlfriend is a very, very experienced tarot card reader. And so, we, uh... Let me just clear this house. Okay. Uh, very experienced tarot card, uh, reader. And so, she gifted us a deck that... Uh, my wife and I sort sort of use personally. Yeah, I'm on a scab run. Yeah. The tarot compendium, man, is is. Oh, I don't know uh, Persona Five Royal, but apparently there is a overarching like sort of hero's journey story to the cards. Oh, Alex, all right, yeah, happy holidays, my man. All right, we'll draw you a card. All right, I have it here. Um, thank you, Fancy Pants. I need all the luck I can get to get to... Where am I going? Scav... Okay, Eastern Rocks. That's where we're going. Eastern Rocks. Okay, I think I'm at Scav House, and I'm going towards... Yep, yep, know exactly where I'm going. Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of... Uh, Hang of this. Hang of this map, right? Yeah, I've heard that. Yep. Okay, so... Let's see. Oh, damn, Alex. Was that was that 20 Danish kroner? Man, dude, thank you. Do I... Re yeah, it's DKK, right? That's, uh... Yeah, I really appreciate that. Like I said, I, I got a good card for you. Um, I drew it. I took a peek at it. I just want to give you a proper reading on it. And it's actually one that's pretty rare. I don't see it that often. Any kind of... Um, 
Yeah, thanks, Zeger. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, I'm glad to see everybody who's uh, new coming by. Yeah. Yeah, no, I've, I've literally have your card face down in front of me, right? I just picked it up. So. Let's see. We're just going to... Oh. Okay, I don't know what this is, but let's see. Uh, okay, well, I need something here. So let's see. I also want to just want to make sure I know what I'm talking about. Okay, okay. So here's what you got, Alex. You got the Page of Cups. But here's what's interesting: the Page of Cups is an imaginative, sensitive, and creative person, and they can often focus on creative fields, but it can also mean you'll receive an unexpected sort of creative surprise because pages are messengers, right? So they bring this information. So he's bringing to you a positive, uh, some sort of positive omen, right? Especially of a creative kind. So maybe you'll have a, a, a hit of inspiration. Um, maybe you'll just get kind of a really dope looking gift. I don't know, I think that's positive. Jacob, I'm I'm glad, man. I'm glad you could make it. Uh, yeah, this is sort of unexpected, right? You see, I've streamed a ton today. And uh, yeah, man, this is it, it's interesting. It, I'm for the first time in a long time. I'm caught up. I'm actually ahead on videos, which is pretty rare. And. Uh, so yeah, so I have time to like stream, right? Work isn't that frantic. Let's see. Hey, player, player. Damn, that dude is armed to the teeth. Look at that. Oh, Nippy, that's awesome, dude. Respect, respect to hitting the gym. Are you just doing cardio and kind of have your phone or, or computer out? Honestly, that kind of makes my day knowing that you're you're out here getting fit. All right, well, I don't know. Taking this stuff. Uh, getting fit while watching the stream, right? Warms my heart. Okay. Huh. Oh, thanks, Blank Blank. I appreciate you uh, coming by, catching the stream. Oh, okay, I'm running slugs. Interesting. I right, have a bunch of meds, splint, bandage, medical tools. Ooh. Hey. Okay, the pack of armor. Don't really care that much about that, but it's better than what I'm running now, which is nothing. Oh. Okay. All right. Oh my God! A found and raid Salewa. Holy shit! We are gonna do this, and then we are getting out of here, dogs. I've been looking for that Salewa. My stab karma is not great. I've accidentally shot just a couple of scabby boys while playing scabs. Okay. All right, time for this scabby boy to dip. He's got a quest item he has needed for some time. Oh, control left click to move items quickly. Okay, that's good info. Oh, there's, there's our other scabby boy. Uh, I think he must have been on a team. He had a he had an armband, you know. Corey, hello. Thank you for the super chat, man. Once I get out of here, we will draw you a card. Learn your holiday fate, friend. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, blank blank. I think that's just about right. Scab karma, like real self-defense laws, need work. Yeah, interesting to... I, I wasn't expecting to grab so many uh, medical supplies here. Yeah, I feel you, Alex. It's uh, it's hard. I mean, with all my stuff packed up, I sort of feel like I've been in the same spot, right? Like, it's... I don't have any, like, clothes. You know, I said goodbye to all my... Okay. Uh... 75 round AK, AKA the jam machine. All right, well, I'm not above this. Not too proud to carry the jam machine. Um, yeah, it's hard, man. It's hard to find the time and motivate yourself to go to the gym, right? Uh, what is this for? On the RFB rifle. Well, I'm not really doing anything else with it. I need two spots. Let's, uh... Okay, let's let's ditch some of this not that helpful rounds, right? There we go. Alright, we're about ready to dip on out. Dip on out. Ah oh, crap. I really thought this was the I've never heard of, um, Boaken? Crap. Okay, so... Uh, okay, wait, I... Am I at Eastern Rocks? Oh, I need to keep tracing my way up. Sorry, I'm at- this is the RUAF roadblock. Okay, I gotta go down the road to Factory Gate, left, and then I'm at Eastern... Eastern Rocks. Shoot. Okay, so I gotta hustle. So we just got to trace, okay, are you ever a block? Okay. All right, so if I aim it right, there should be this Y here, and the road should split in two, and Eastern Rocks is a straight shot right up, right between these two. Okay. Whoa, 80 pounds during COVID. That's, oh, wait. Oh, okay, message retracted. Maybe a typo. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There's some people who feel like going to the gym wakes them up. Um, I actually, for almost a year and a half, I just just last month I, I ended, but I was teaching the early morning jujitsu jiu class. One awesome crew, right? Morning people, it was like dad jujitsu, basically. So, a little more like grown up in character, you know? There, was, there wasn't like, there was a little less like broiness. Um, and, uh, but yeah, it was all people who were just like, I wake up and like, this is just what wakes me up, right? I do my, I hit my coffee, I come to the gym, and like, that's it, you know? Okay, we're just gonna push to the edge here. What do you call a deathcore creep girl who runs an artillery squad? A bombshell. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, we got 40k jokes. Oh, man. Ah, uh, I love it. I love it. Okay, what is this? This is Old Station, so Eastern Rocks will be to our left. Get to the back end here. Yeah. Oh, man. Tyron has jokes for us, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Alright, once we get out of here, I still got you, um, uh, guy, guy who donated, guy threw, threw me a dollar, I still got a card for you, I don't discriminate.
Yeah, Alex, yeah. And it depends on the martial art, right? Like, Tai Chi is pretty forgiving. Uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, wrestling, boxing, Muay Thai. Different story. Those are, those are serious. Um, serious martial arts, right? And uh, they demand some serious cardio. How many of Tarkov's attachments do I see in active duty? Honestly, not that many. Like, you have to remember that the military does not like or permit um, aftermarket stuff, right? Because they don't really know if this the thing you bought at the gun store is a high-quality military-grade device or if it's, like, low-grade garbage. And so they just said, listen, if it's not issued by your unit, do not put it on your weapon. All right, guys, that was a solid raid right there. We uh, really brought it. Med tools, tea glasses. Uh, I'm just gonna sell all these like cheap things. I know, uh, is there a quest for with these meds or these med tools? Maybe I'll hold on to them just, just in case. Okay, I do want the painkiller and kind of need that. Oh, and the Salewa, yes. Praise. The Tarkov gods. I got a Salewa. Yeah, this is garbage, but this is getting sold. All right, let's see. Yeah, right. I have I have space for everything now. Oh, oh, nope, nope, nope. Forgot this was a scab run. My bad. I really, I, yeah, I genuinely forgot this was a scab run. Oops. Okay, okay. I guess, I guess I can sell the pack of... No, I can't. No, I can't. All right, whatever. It's a pack up. Yep. Okay. All right. Cordy, I got you. Let's draw a card for Cordy. Whoa. Damn, bruh. This is a four of swords. Oof. Lying peacefully, right? One sword buried with you and three more on the wall. And when I see this, I think about legacy, right? So, you know, for, for me, I think about my grandfather. I've been thinking about him a lot lately because he started a business on his own, um, struck out by himself, and that I carry parts of his legacy. Like, he, he spent a lot of time mentoring me, um, you know, before he passed away. And so, to me, I look at that and I think, about the things that he taught me and how like there were you know parts of himself obviously that aren't around but his legacy is something that i still live with and think about a lot so i maybe that's the message for you does that resonate at all okay all right let's see uh let's uh let's see if i can turn in this salewa correct quest to the medic please it doesn't count Alright, exit the location factory. Okay, doesn't count because it was a scav raid. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Ah, good, good one, Dust the Wolf. I like that. Okay, let's get rid of this. Wait, unless, let's see. Compatible with anything? No, of course not. Get this out of here. <laughs> Failure to feed chance, very high. Yeah, good luck performing remedial actions on that POS. Okay, T is tracer, yeah. Okay. Let's, uh, let's just get rid of this. We can buy med supplies, right?
Nothing there I'm getting rid of. Okay. Alright. No ten does Spence have any tasks for me? No. He needs the white body armor. This dude has no tasks. Mechanic has a MP133 task. Jaeger's camp. Obtain his encrypted message. Hand it over. Okay. Oh. Oh. The steel helmet. Damn. Right. Oh. Shit. I could have done that. Yeah, Tarkov is just is just storage. This is just like a space marine for storage, right? You're just, you're, your goal is to just get more storage so you can kill more people, so you can get more storage. Like, literally, even the hideout is just pure storage action, right? Alright. Uh, you guys ready to do it? Oh, Saga 12, what does it do? Oh, it's in a, a suppressor adapter. Okay. Interesting, though I have not seen a suppressor itself, so... There's that. Hey, thanks, Alex. Have a good one, man. Hope everything, everything you're working on works out. Hmm. That's interesting, Dusk. About your grandfather and step-grandfather. I mean, the thing to remember, too, is a lot of those, those Vietnam era wars, um, they may not have had a choice, right? That was a draft. That was a draft war, so it's uh, it's a lot tougher, right? Um, they may not have had a choice, right? Okay. Shoreline customs woods. Do I feel like I know enough to go into woods and not totally screw this up? Yeah, I think so. Uh. Nah, we're gonna hold off. We're gonna do a, cust a customs run. Reserve always feels crowded. Um, yeah, you know, fancy pants, I, a lot of people wouldn't. I would. I say go for it. Um, okay, we're doing customs. All right, just gotta pull my customs out. Yeah, here's the thing. If you've watched a lot of the game, um, then you have seen some of it, right? And the truth is, you just have to accept it's a little bit like, for me, it felt a lot like learning um, MMA or learning jiu-jitsu, where I, there was no way around the fact that the learning curve involves just getting your ass kicked. Like, there's just no other way. Yeah, it absolutely helps to look at things online and think things through and come up with plans and you see you saw i still get massacred i still get buzz i lose so many pvp interactions basically unless i get the drop on like a hatchling i'm probably gonna lose uh bellum i know i should be packing to go to my uh parents place we're leaving at 5.30 a.m. tomorrow, and yet, here I am. But you know what, I told my wife, 7.45, I'm gonna be out of here. 7.45, I'm gonna order dinner, and then I'm just gonna pack up. And the truth is, we're living out of suitcases anyway, so all I need to do is zip up my suitcase, zip it closed, pack up my hygiene stuff, and throw it in the car. That's it, and I'll take my laptop. All right, map awareness, Ugh. Okay, customs, 13 and ZB11. All right, what does that mean? ZB11 and ZB13, eh? Okay, I guess we're doing ZB11, right? Okay, what's the plan? Okay, yep, ZB1011. What time zone am I in? I'm on East Coast time. All right. We're here to 
snoop. And we're here to score and we're here to get out. Ooh, a sight. Let's see. Can't see what's going on. Somebody's around there. Dick dick. Uh, yeah, do I want to be involved in this? You know, a player more skilled than me would probably jump all over this fight. I don't see anything. Wow, dude. Thanks, Teron, for sticking around. Yeah, fight, fight in places where you can win. That's definitely the lesson I have. Right, take, take, take only the fights. Shit. Okay. East coast of the United States. Eastern Standard Time, sorry. I called it East Coast Time. Yeah, this is uh, this is a little too gunfighty for my taste. Ouch, Zeger went to factory and died. Dude, factory terrifies me. I need to do so many scav runs in factory before I have even like marginal proficiency. Listen. So do you guys have any ideas for the podcast? Right? Topics you want me to cover, that sort of thing? Oh yeah, I forgot they added the machine gun, didn't they? Alright. I can't stick around. That's a recipe to get fucking killed. So, inward we go, I guess. Yeah, right. Gas blowback called. They want their weapon back. All right, we are definitely running towards a gunfight here. Let's see if they get pushed. Let's just give things a listen. left. Okay. Somebody's clearing. Yeah, uh, if you were here earlier, I definitely did that. Walked right into another enemy's spawn and kind of fucked everything up, right? Uh, yeah, the most recent podcast episode does have some stories from the deployment, right? I mean, I talk about some of that stuff. So, yeah, 
Yeah. I got somebody's right over here. I think he's right there. He's going up the stairs, is he? My God, I'm freaking out. This is a this is a lot for a fight. But it's dorms on customs, right? You might be right, man. This is, this was a, this was so, oof, this is a vicious fight if it's just angry nerds, right? I mean, even by Tarkov standards. Because usually it's like, you win or you lose pretty quickly. Like, there's definitely a part of me that wants to just wait this out and just loot all these bodies. Zero eleven. I don't even remember where CB zero one three is. Doesn't matter. Let's just see, maybe we can catch somebody as they come out. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I think you may be right about that, because that was like a preposterously big firefight, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, there's definitely some, like, advanced tactics being played in Tarkov, right? Yeah, I know I'm not near the ZB, whatever. somebody He's literally right in front. Poof. Just high stress. Wish I had a nade. Well, I need to get some stuff, so here I am. get smoked. I'm getting flanked here. I can't even see this dude. I might need to just take off. people all around me. Maybe this dude's like a like a boss or something? Doesn't sound like he's looting. Either they're scabs or they're players. Either way, they're getting ready to get out of here. So I can't really afford to stick around. screwing around. Yeah, it seems weird that it would be Rashala. Um, but it is, a, I'm not hearing like looting or healing. Which are definitely two things I would expect from Rashala. Like maybe they just smoked a bunch of hungry PMCs, you know? Why will shooting into the sky, what will that do for me exactly?
I feel like I'm being baited. You think so? You think they're weird scav walking? Maybe you're right, maybe it was just like... Yeah, well I don't, I have the most cursed gun in Tarkov, so... No worries about... Uh, my only thought is if it's... Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably about to get smoked. There's one body, and it is a PMC. Well, I didn't aggro a scav. Oh, well, there's no secret that I'm in here, so there's that. Yeah. Yeah, there is. It's a scab. Maybe they just came. Maybe you just came, dipped, and left, right? Yeah, I just need to clear the building. Okay. This floor is clear. And they've looted everything of value. Well, that's nice. I guess I'll take the Ketter. 
me just see if I can get anything else I need for a quest or whatever. Though, man, I'd love to have my hands on this body armor. Okay, actually, I'm running out of energy, so I may need to turn and burn. All right. Seems possible. You know what? Somebody's handled business up here. We may need to just turn and burn and get out of here. See if there was a fight in here. Nope, no fight. Somebody looted everything. Okay. All right, let's just see if there's a body so I can, uh, so I can get a little food if I need it. Uh, but there really isn't, I guess. Seems extra weird. Wow, that was a ton of fight. Mmm, Brother of Steel, Minutemen. Oh, I guess there's a guy. Alright, we'll search the day pack. Meds in a splint, okay. Not really what I need. Nope, not at all what I need. Okay. Seems like some organized group, right? Yeah, but I don't want to give up this advanced, um, this, like, pretty high-end, uh, chest rig. Uh, military tactics are actually really applicable. Um, because of the high consequences to getting smoked, um, like, protecting your life has an, an almost, like, military level of value. Does that make sense? You know how sometimes in games it's, like, not a big deal to fuck up because you'll just respawn, like Team Fortress 2? Um, and it's worth throwing your life away for, like, some pretty marginal gains. Yeah, like, suppression. Yeah, there's, there's some principles that don't work, but, like, 360 security, clearing your buildings, like, that all works great. I feel like stairwells, junctures are natural, uh... Oh, okay, so this must have been just clearing scabs, right? Come on, have some food for old Paul. He... Mm. Mm. VPO? Nope. Let's see. Not helpful. Hey, Soma, put the Gen 4 in the backpack. Oh, yeah, 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 of course, of course, I see exactly what you're talking about, yeah. Let me do that, yeah, we'll just scout this out. Make sure there's uh, no additional corpses for your boy to uh, dig into. Wow, nobody's raided the mark room, okay. Alright, we'll put the Gen 4 in the backpack, yeah. I couldn't tell you a model of power armor, to be honest. Okay. Let's do it. Let's go hit it and quit it. Should have brought some water. Okay, we're gonna have to... Oh, right, he was here. Okay. Alright, in today's episode of anticlimactic uh, en endings. This is going to be so heavy. Yeah, it's like, uh, you're pretty heavy, bro.
Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, oh, oh. One more body. And Soma, I got you on a... Uh, rip rounds, don't care. I know that has some value, but... Alright, we gotta get out of here. We're pretty heavy. And we gotta make it... Make it home. Yeah, I was once an adventurer like you, and then I got looted by scavs. Bruh, we are all... We are all just scav bait. At least I know what I am, right? And Soma, don't you worry, I'm gonna get you as soon as we exfil out of here. Like, I got your, your fate, your tarot fate. in a linear danger area for those of you that don't know. Okay, we're about to start experiencing a little bit of hunger. If we're lucky, let's just see if there's anything in here that we can loot. Nope. Nope, I'll loot it out. Okay. Dude, we all get looted by scams. That is that is just how this goes, right? Okay. Video game only strategy would work to solve like real world tactical problems. Okay, that, that sounds actually pretty interesting. I'm trying to think of an example. Uh, so a DMR barrel on an M4, I think would just make it an M16, no? on, so... Oh, crap. Doesn't shock me at all. Tarkov is purgatory. Yeah. Okay, ouch. to make the guns even more cursed. Did I just totally whiff on a on an easy extract? How did I miss this gigantic hole? God, I can't see these guys at all. But I've definitely aggroed them. No, it'd be nice to actually like get a fucking kill. What happened? The most anticlimactic uh, encounter, right? Just, just all corpses of a couple of scabs. So I think that must have been correct. They, it must have been a, a group just like triggering um, the sounds of a firefight to bait 
players to push towards it. Because there's no way. It was four... Four kills, right? Right. Okay. Alright, well they better give me some credit for that. So that was work. They're like, uh, you didn't shoot anybody, Paul. You fired four rounds. But that's cool. How'd I take damage? Oh, the, the, the hunger, right, starving. That's where they get you. Where do they get you? Okay, I owe somebody, Soma, I owe you a card. Ooh, the Queen of Cups, Soma. What, what does that mean? Interesting, I actually have to, oh, cup of, <laughs> Actually, I'm not that familiar. Okay, Queen of Cups, nurturing, compassionate, sensitive, caring. Um, okay, it's the nurturing mother energy, right? So is there something that like you care for, maybe like a pet? Um, you know, it's, it's telling you to sort of lean into that, right? That you need to um, lean into that part of you that wants to care and nurture somebody, which is the spirit of the season, right? It's about giving gifts to people. Um, you know, I always like to give gifts to people who might not otherwise expect it, right? Um, you know, my wife, like we gave the people that clean our building, you know, we, we gave them all like a, a Christmas card with some money and just said, hey, we appreciate you making our home like clean, you know? So I, I think that is the best, uh, the best of the queen of cups, right? Um, yeah. Okay, so that was cool. Oh, you guys are talking about the barbed wire. Yeah, I just pushed through the barbed wire because uh, it was worth the risk. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's what damaged me, of course. Of course, the barbed wire. Okay, I'm going to just tuck that right there. And... Should I just sell these PP91 mags? I mean, the Keter's nice, but I worry about its ability to really deliver, right? Really punch, you know? Okay, where can this go? Ooh, almost everything. M890, the M4, the... Ooh, man, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Dude, this is great. Damn, it even fits on the M4, sort of? How does this fit on the M4? Can I remove the carry handle? Oh, that's a... Yeah. Dude, nice. Oh my god, what an improvement to that M4. Finally. And where can this go? The M870 and the M4. Okay. So we're actually going to take this off of here and we'll put that on. Alright, and then we're going to take this and we're going to put it on what, the AK-104? Yeah, that's what we want. That works. Oh no. My items. We do not acknowledge that you have done this. Just gonna see if that works with that right there. Oh, it's... Oh no, it was mad at me for... This, huh? Interesting. Okay. Don't be mad. All right, there we go. Yeah, but I can't really remove the front sight on the M4. I think it, I think it operates like. Uh, well, let's see, M4 front sight. Nope. Says no longer workable. Unless it's more than one part, it is not. Nope, it's, it's just essential to the operation. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here for now. Thank you to those of you that threw a brother a super chat. I really appreciate it. Um, 
Yeah, and for joining me on this uh, this fun excursion into the depths of uh, Tarkov, right? I feel like you didn't get very many gunfights, but you definitely got some action. Okay, guys, that's it for today. I will catch you guys later. Oh, and if I don't see you, have a good holiday, and I will see you guys in 2022. I'm excited for it. I hope you guys have a lot to be excited.